So there are different measurements um, for Jamelia in her case, um, in order to get diagnosed with IgA, a biopsy is required. So that's the only way to actually diagnose um, somebody with IgA, but there are other tests that do we do here in clinic. Um, a lot of people who are suffering with kidney disease have not had, um, and um, we get to explain that to them. So. One of the first things is a first morning void, which means it's the first urine from the day when you wake up. It's the most concentrated, so that's one measurement. We also do a 24-hour urine, which is when you collect your urine for 24 hours. And it is very important for the patient to know how to collect, because if you do not collect right, those numbers can fluctuate and um, give us a false number. Um, other than that, we do blood work as well. Like you said, the EGFR is measured through the blood. so. Um, all of these things, and we also do a dipstick sometimes, like Jamila said, sometimes there's blood in the urine and you haven't noticed, so we do what's called a spot urine um, when you come in clinic and we check your urine that, well, that way, and if we do see that there's blood in the urine, then that um, triggers us to do further testing as well. Mm -hmm.